Thank you, Mike. Today, still to come this week here on WCW Worldwide, you're going to be seeing this man in action, the 70s guy, Mike Awesome. And Mike, I like to talk wrestling, but I got other things I need to talk with you. In an era of Farrah Fawcett, oh, yeah. Linda Carter, oh, yeah. the Pittsburgh Steelers were winners. And what about the big red machine? You talking about my love mobile, Gene? No, I'm talking about the Cincinnati Reds. Tip on picking up chicks. I need that from you for an older guy. Well, let me tell you, the first thing you got to do with these foxy ladies is never, and I do mean never, take no for an answer. And once you get past that hurdle, you're in the game for sure, Gene. You know, you've got that little set with all the lava lamps and everything, yeah. and you've had the who's who in World yeah. Championship Wrestling there. Uh, you seem to do pretty well for yourself, Mike Awesome. Well, actually, I do, you know. Like I said, it's just a matter of never taking no for an answer. And, yeah, I like it. And uh, polyester, is, uh, you feel still very fashionable today in this day and age? Well, i tell you what, Gene, if you take a look, I'm wearing polyester from head to toe, and that even includes my underwear. One final question. Did you ever know the Bee Gees? Uh, actually, aren't they still around today? Well, I'm sure they're around somewhere today. Thank you very much, Mike Awesome, the 70s guy. Stay tuned, Mike. Let's get back to you in the arena. And thanks very much, guys. Yes, we're counting down the days to WCW's October pay-per-view tradition. It's Sunday, October the 29th, when World Championship Wrestling returns to the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, for Halloween Havoc. And, Tony, I know that's going to be a big, big evening, and it's all going to be sponsored by Electronic Arts. WCW Backstage Assault is the next video game coming out from Electronic Arts and the sponsor of Halloween Havoc. Mike, think about how many great things have happened, exciting, unpredictable things that have happened during Halloween Havoc over the years. This has been tremendous when you think through the years of all the major matches, the title changes, the surprises that have been a part of Halloween Havoc. We're sure it's going to be just the same in the year 2000. And Speaking of the year 2000, he's a guy that's a little bit retro. He's that 70s guy. He's the host of the Lava Lamp Lounge. He's just plain awesome. He's Mike Awesome. And what do you think of that? A ring attire. Not really a full leisure suit, but it's surely from the 70s. It's all polyester. There's no question about that. And Mike, uh, like we said earlier in this telecast, the type of guy who uh, has a lot of style, a lot of pizzazz, but there's a lot of substance to also in the ring as well, Mike. That is really the key. Once that lava lamp lounge is over and once the bell rings and he gets into battle as he is this week here on WCW Worldwide against Steve Sharp, he is all business and he can certainly back himself up in that ring. Anything that he may say outside the ring, he backs it up physically in the ring. And Steve Sharp taking over early on the attack. Look the agility. Springing up off the rope, catches him with the back elbow and then follows up nicely. Clubbing blow to the back. Steve Sharp has to go in the neighborhood of about 290 pounds and he picked him up with ease, slammed him to the mat, goes airborne with the slash. Hook of the leg and really got a two count that time from referee Silverman. The fact also that also wears those uh, those pants in the ring, those uh, those casual slacks, so to speak. It's but it got to be very constricting on him, and it, you would think it would inhibit his performance, but he does quite well anyway. That time able to touch the clothesline from Sharp, doubles him over with a boot to the midsection. Sharp takes him up in a fireman's carry. And the Samoan drop, the fallaway slam, sends Awesome down to the mat. Smart move here by Awesome, rolling up to the arena floor and slowing down the momentum and the offensive pace of Steve Sharp. Awesome brought the table out. That had the fans up in the oh! oh, They wanted to see the table, obviously, and want to see the table. But Sharp, well, I'm not, that's a big guy taking flight right there, Mike. That's a cruiserweight move from a man that goes near 300 pounds and stands about six foot five, slingshot into a crossbody block. Now he takes Awesome and sends him back into the ring. Obviously, Sharp realizes there's no way that he can win that match out on the floor. Once he's softened him up, he's got to bring him back into the squared circle and put him away. Fans will realize, and of course we realize, and no one realizes better than Sharp, that for Steve Sharp, one of his biggest matches here on Worldwide, in many countries and many stations around the United States. So a win, maybe not a win, but even a great performance, is a real bonus for him would definitely move him up the ladder of success in World Championship Wrestling. Right now, in a precarious position. And Mike Awesome drives a series of boots into the midsection of Sharp. 
And now he decides that he's going to take a timeout and roll out to the floor. We know that Awesome loves to fly. Very unpredictable offense. And there he goes. Uh -oh. They hit that safety rail, both of them that time, Mike. And I think Awesome took the worst of it. Suicide dive by Awesome. And again, we were just congratulating Sharp on the high-risk aerial moves for a man as big as he is. And Mike Awesome comes back to counter with one of his own. Looks like both men okay. Now back up on their feet. And Awesome sent sends Sharp back first into the safety rail and ooh, drives that steel chair right into the side of Steve Sharp. And now what? Now where is he headed? I think it's table time. Mike Awesome with the familiar table. Going to bring it into the ring. And Steve Sharp's wrestling future and his success in WCW is in doubt at this point because Mike Awesome is setting up the table and Awesome has used that table on many occasions since arriving here in WCW to certainly weaken his opponents. He loves to use that move before catching him with the Awesome Bomb, but Steve Sharp caught him by surprise. That was a great move by Sharp to lure him into that false sense of security that time and then with the uppercut to throw his effort. So now maybe Sharp is going to use the table on Mike Awesome. Look at it there. Can the table backfire on Mike Awesome? Steve Sharp attempted a move and a great reversal that time by Mike Awesome. Pointing to the table. Now obviously wants to send Sharp there. And takes him up. Oh look at look this. Look at this incredible power and straight to the the running awesome ball straight through the table. The three count at this point is academic. <laughs> We will be back with more right after this on Worldwide.